What do we have here? Bushes, dirt, hills. It must be Saturday. We're heading over to that little road that you can barely see going up there. Don't really have a point of looking for anything. We're just going out to see what's there. Haven't been up there in a while. Want to go make sure. I'm having to expand my horizons. I've run out of closer things to view. There's a couple little prospects and stuff over in these hills. Nothing that goes anywhere significant, or at least not that I've stumbled across. We went and walked around and looked at most of those a different day. So we're gonna get over to this hill and see what we can see. I've been up it. It just pinches out and you couldn't get anywhere. Here's everybody shooting trash because they like to shoot everything up and leave it out here. Guess the desert's a dumping ground. Here's a fairly steep entrance. Not too bad. It's just enough to slide on, but it's not loose ground, so it's actually fun to take. There's a little cross over here. Somebody's buried, a, I'm assuming a pet, somebody's favorite pet. A nice place to be buried. So we're gonna climb this hill. We're gonna get up on top of the ridge line of this little mountain range here and go poke around and see what we, see what we can see. We're still in four high, huh? Yeah, I'm saying a low range hill. Lake, we'd be out on the jet skis right now. I don't want to be on a jet ski. Last fun days of summer. But no, we live in a desert. We gotta go hill climbing. I want to go snow snowboarding. I want to go four wheel driving in the snow, but I don't want any of the roads over there. I have to go with somebody. And get chains on your tires. Chains would be a good idea. Imagine the old coots that made these roads back in the 50s or whatever in their two-wheel drives, whatever they were driving. We talk about some crazy old goats. The blazer could go up this hump. Yeah. But I'll just chew, chew the tires up because of how much it spends. Yeah, if I was taking this in the blazer. Probably go in four low just to try and keep it from spinning the tires because that one wants to spin tires. Which is fun though. That's not when you get the tire bill. 
I just put new tires on that thing. <laughs> Only like four months ago. 35s are expensive. See, we're not far from town at all there. I just haven't run this ridge. Ooh, there's a prospect right there. See the light colors? See the little stake Stack rocked wall. Damn it. So this type of stuff we're crawling up here. Just running the ridge. It's a fun little drive. It's a nice drivable it's a nice drivable road with big drops on, on either side. Good one to get used to the scare get factor. Used to the drive.
Don't know if it comes out on camera. Somebody's over there flying down the dirt roads. This is what we're climbing on and driving on. Just came up. We started the video right at the base of this hill here. So that's a fun little road. That's the view we're looking at. Once again, we don't know what we're looking for. We're just poking around, exploring. Do see a little bit of a prospect over there. They spent some time building the road, but I don't know. So That's my view on Saturday morning. We've been over there. We've showed that cell tower before. It's fun drive over there. Nice. There's a big mine down there, but it's mostly stoped out and all the entrances are closed. So you got to go on through a stope. So good fun though. Close you down for a minute, figure out what we're doing and go from there. All right, we've decided we don't want to go this way because that's not the end direction that I'm trying to go. So, you want me to get up? No. Reverse skills are important, folks. I've seen people struggle to get out of parking lots and I'm reversing on top of a cliff. Love that stuff. We found a second road that stays on top of this ridge line. I didn't see it when I was turning. Right there. So we're gonna run this road right here. It's gonna come across up that ridge line, stays on the ridge line basically all the way as far as we can see. Doesn't look like it's been traveled a whole lot. We still got BLM open route signs, so I'm not even breaking any laws yet. We'll have to go see if we can find some of those to break. Always makes it interesting on the ridge lines. Every time you come up a come up a hill, you never know which way the road goes. So you got to come up with caution and figure out what way your road goes. Otherwise, you go down into the precipice down there. That'd be interesting trying to get one out of there. I've done it before. It takes a while. And we have our random tree that used to live right here. Some kind of a yucca or something like that. Not quite a Joshua tree. Before we pumped all of the groundwater out of the ground, there used to be a lot more trees and stuff like that that would grow in the desert but since we started pumping all the groundwater out of the ground for our own purposes we dried up a lot of the natural springs and fissures that would feed all the plant life out here that was explained to me I, it makes a lot of sense that because I was talking about how the miners could could work out here with no water and it was explained to me that the desert used to be a lot greener place. It even used to be a lot greener in the 50s, 60s, 70s 
but over the years as we've taken all the water away we've taken off all the all the natural water sources for plants and animals and things like that just because we lowered the ground level so far so when you're coming across the springs now back when back in the days when they were uh, using those springs they would have been much more substantial we got another little road going on the mountain the hilltops over there it's just little spider webs of roads there are a few prospects and tunnels labeled out here uh, I don't think there's gonna be anything substantial but you never know I know all you East Coast guys are laughing at me, but it's 60 degrees out in California. We're cold. The road goes off there to nowhere. This is actually a really nice road. Huh? Dun I don't know if you guys can see that uh, claim marker there. Dunna Miss, D-U-N-A-M-I-S. Somebody had a little claim filed out here. It's not hard for me to get started on the road, but they're, uh, they're longer intimidating hill climbs to get up here so you don't get a lot of your razors and things like that up here tearing up the road. You get a pretty nice drive. We're gonna get through this little valley here, keep poking around, we'll bring it back. Well, we ran out of road. We went that way, we lost all signs of a road. We're having to come back out the same way we went in. We are on open land, so it's all good, but look at, I'm retracing the steps I came in on. I can tell because of this dirt bike track that's here. It's just like a single rutted out line. For me, this is what I consider responsible off-roading. Look at my tracks. They're barely noticeable, if even that. You know, not rutting it up, not tearing it up. It's responsible land use. You don't need to go spinning your tires everywhere you go. So, I do like how, how minimal the impact of this truck is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack to a wash or something or another road I can go down to the right. I know I passed at least one or two. And get on the other side of this range and then continue over. But as far as the ridge top road goes, I I don't know where it went and it disappeared, so I don't think there'll be anything there. We'll bring you back in a little bit. We're a couple of hilltops and goat trails later. We're on a different road now. Got that mountain right there. Looks like it has a couple of natural caves. Always cool to see, but you know it doesn't go anywhere. Dead center in the front of the screen. I know it's gonna be virtually impossible for you guys to see, and I don't know how to zoom a GoPro. I need to learn that. But that, there's a little, there's a light spot with a real dark hole that kind of looks like it goes in. So we'll see what combination of uh, roads, trails, and goat paths it takes to get over there. More, uh, more, more claim markers right there. Drop in out. No. I'll figure out if there's a. Whoa. Yeah. Let me know. See. No, sir. That wasn't a road. I think I'm gonna take a pure 
off this I think, I think it does too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it tried to get me to drive down that. I could have done it. That wouldn't have been a fun drive though. I think this is the road. We're just gonna keep trail riding here, enjoying the scenery. We'll bring you back when we uh, get a little closer to something a little funner. Sorry about the wind, folks. We just came along another prospect here. Had to turn around again. A Little bit of a can dump, but none of them are solder bottomed and they're all crimp seams, so they're a little bit newer. We're trying to get over that way, get on the other side of this mountain range. And then we can get around this and go over to that, what we think is the tunnel. So, just change drivers. We'll keep going. Making our way down here. You got some nice little uh, natural caves carved out by the winds. Oh, there's another road going up that way. I already know what's up there that we don't want to go over there. It's always neat how the softer rocks get carved out and the harder portions of the rock just stay there. Always cool looking. So that's what we're doing. Poking around. That was that one I said looked like it had a couple of natural caves in it earlier. Oh yeah, I see it in that. Yeah. We're not going over there. We're on a we're on a mission to get to that other hole. Oh. Good fun. We found ourselves one little tunnel right here. I don't think it goes very far, but there's a lot of uh, shafts up on this hill. So I don't completely, I'm not completely geared up. Let's see, that's just an opening. Oh, it's closed off. You can see a lot of the white veining in here that I think they were chasing. There's a few prospects over here that do the same thing, just deep shafts and that's about it. We got a lot of tailings outside, so we're checking this area out really good. I think these are mostly prospects. Newer mines, the debris is not that old. But we got these giant tailings piles, or waste rock piles, right here and we were curious as to what they went to or what they did. This shaft right here, I believe connects right to the end of that tunnel. There's that one shaft I looked up. <laughs> Goes down 30 or so feet at least. Another little deeper one right up there. Nothing that looks like it's worthy of the time. Got a little open cut there. So these were all, I guess, 50s prospects. The nails around. We'll bring you back. Here's an interesting looking tire for you. You know that's old. 7.5 by 20. That's a real old truck right there. Them tires actually don't look too bad. Just might've got tore up by rocks. So that's what we're looking at. There's a whole lot of prospecting around here. I don't see anything significant. Open cuts there. That was obviously a dozer or something. Oh, we're still headed in that general direction to another, to another interesting looking spot we've saw, but we got to go down and around and come back over. Never know what you'll find. Well, we found that mine we spotted from a long ways away. We were way over on the ridge lines over there. Made our way all the way over here. Hey, it's looking good. They got the, the landing surface prepped here. 
Let's go take a look. Come in. Oh, somebody's had a fire in it. Wah, wah, wah. They're burning their wire back here. Doesn't go anywhere. You can see all the real white uh, tops of the roof from where the stuff is sloughed off. And you can see that vein right there. Piece of that vein. That's what they were chasing when they were in here. Came in here looking for gold, I'm sure. So they were chasing part of the vein. You see right there. Real purpley, real, real pretty stuff. But apparently it didn't pay. Or it didn't pay enough for them. That's right up in the strip that they were looking at. It's all a real real crumbly material. So it probably would have took a lot of shoring too. So even if it was worth it, it has to be extra worth it to pay for all the stuff they got to haul in. So 90% of the time it's a bust. Only 10% of the time you get a mine. Ooh, look at that natural fissure in the wall. This is just a really, really soft, loose place to mine in. Well, that's what they had. Here's another look at what they were mining. So we see some we see some disturbed rocks there. There's all kinds of all kinds of test holes out here, little shafts everywhere, 10, 10 feet deep or so. We're gonna continue up this road. I think it's gonna go over the mountain right there. Might even take us all the way up to that peak. You can barely see the road. So having fun. All right, we're back up on the ridge lines again. Found this little uh, MST marker. I don't know what MST is. I'll look that up when I get home. But we've got all the, uh, down there you can see the concrete benches. I've been there before in a different video. Uh, real fun and interesting. Road goes along right here just a little bit. We'll probably poke along that. I've been to those concrete videos in one of my, those concrete benches in one of my other videos in my other truck, so. We'll keep going. This is that park bench we were looking at here. No clue why they're up there. Somebody's told me told me why they were there before. Then if you look right on the top of that peak right there, there's another one. Concrete park benches just out in the hill in the hills of the desert. Picture of the crappy little town we're just outside of. So we're not very far from people no biggie today well i guess this is where i'm gonna end my video just having a little fun on a saturday puttering around we'll probably stay out for a couple more hours but hope everyone has a great saturday thanks for watching